everybody, welcome back. Track Mania, track of the day. Can we see how we did yesterday? I mean, we were early yesterday. We didn't really have that much time, but I still, we still got the author medal. There's no disrespect meant for the author medal. Sometimes it just takes a little while to load the campaign, and we don't sweat that. This leaderboard is now closed. Yeah, like I know. I just, uh, hold on, hold on. Track of the day. Medals, region. I don't know how to change the region. We were top nine in in British Columbia. That's pretty good. I don't want to load the track. I just want to load the leaderboard. Is this, am I dying? Is there a leaderboard? The leaderboard's closed, but can I at least look in through the front window? We were top 94 Canada. Okay. I know Malf had a good day yesterday too, but I got to get myself out of the mindset that we're in the golden goblet. <laughs> Downloading data, skins, any advertisement. All right. Um, we'll, we'll see what the music ends up being. It all depends on if they load it up and they're like featuring custom songs. I'm like, we got to X that. I, I I think that indeed, based on the top there, I'm, I may just very quickly go up. I don't want to get copyright struck for EDM that I don't even know what it is. Okay, there we go. All right. Diversion. Looks very uh, concrete jungle, wet dreams tomato so far. Okay, okay. What do you think? I mean, that, that certainly does look like a diversion. I'm just trying to see what's go- oh, really? <laughs> alright, alright, so this looks like Paramount Canada's Wonderland right now. What's, what's my thinking for the time being? Well, certainly we want to go the long way. Because the long way is going to allow us to stay straight later. I don't know why you would let off the throttle there now that I think about it. How about... Okay, so we gotta, we're going to slow down on banked corner. We're going we're gonna to hit the brakes a little bit or at least release the throttle. Oh my god. Um, maybe, maybe we just want to shoot that as fast as we can. Get over the moguls. So this course... It's got a lot of production value for the time being, no doubt about that. That might have looked like a good corner, but I actually don't think it was. <laughs> I honestly think uh, we we slowed down too much to make that to make that in good conscience feel like a good corner. So let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do want to overshoot that? Okay, fair enough. We're still turning. Oh, are we ever still turning? Look, we're still in there. We're still learning. This is a long track. Watch out for the tree. Shouldn't have turned as we approach the end of that, but that's okay. It's an advanced level situation. Can we make it over the water? You go under the water. Okay, that, that admittedly was kind of unexpected. I don't know what water physics are like. It's like ice, but... Warmer. This is a, uh, a very technically impressive map right now. A very, very technically impressive map that merely has me slightly frightened because of the... It's, it's very ambitious, you know? There's lots of, lots of things to us, uh, for us, I should say, to be on the lookout for here. Start of the course, no longer that big of a deal. Obviously, that was not handled properly, but... Look at that. We, we maintained relatively well. I really could have kept my tires a little straighter there, but you know what? It is what it is. Then we go into the water, and I, again, I gotta get out of this bad habit of turning my wheels right as we go off the top of a ramp. So we have low traction because our reactor's off. Remember, this is all a learning process right now. Oh my. Oh my. Ah! <laughs> so it's like, it is 3D ice down there at the bottom. That's tough. That's a tough situation. I can live with this. Like, being a little bit behind right here does not bother me in the least. You gotta land firm. Good acceleration out of the, out of the pocket. And then you're just gonna hold it right about there. Decent, although we did lose a little bit of wheel support. And remember, this is a 
It's a heavy corner where we definitely could have done a lot better there, but we're still in here, keeping pace with Evidence JP. Uh, probably should have let ourselves rotate a little bit more. We're going to get a little back tire lift, but that's okay. Now, we've learned our lesson. You keep your wheels relatively straight on the ramp, and then this part is where things get mighty interesting. Ah! <laughs> It's, it's a lot harder than any other course we've had hither to this point, I think. Like, this is... It's long. It has novel elements I've never seen before in my entire life. Um, and it's fun, don't get me wrong. I, I especially, I like the start of this course a lot, but... Um, th this is one where I think the actual... Ability to complete the course is fairly difficult. But still, sometimes that'll mean an author medal as well within our grasp. Sometimes the most difficult courses to complete have like the easiest author medals to get. Perfect. Little bounce, but not enough to be concerned. Oh, we touched the wall and that's gonna screw us up. Okay. How you guys doing today? It's a Wednesday. Um, it's hot. Got a little bit of a Canadian heat wave going on. Doesn't happen that often. Actually, it happens all the time. I'm just playing into the Canadian stereotype that oh, it's always cold up here. Now, Vancouver admittedly doesn't get that hot, but it's been like in the high 20 degrees Celsius lately. Fans doing a great job of keeping me, uh, keeping me sane, keeping my morale up, and I appreciate that. Both the fans that push air around, uh, and also the ones that you can get to cool down your house. <laughs> Just kidding, but that would be funny, right? Alright, hold on. You didn't hit that, which was, uh, a moment of inspiration that I appreciate greatly. And then remember on this one... Oh, you always do that, dude. You always do that. That's okay. I mean, again, we probably should be doing, like, checkpoint-based... That's good. We probably should be doing, like, uh, checkpoint-based respawns. We would just like to see the end of the course for once. It's probably a sensible idea. I'm gonna tell you that in, in my, my heart of hearts, I genuinely believe that this is a course that many people who play Trackmania will not uh, finish. Be not because they're incapable. I think a lot of people will encounter an obstacle like that and be like, I don't really want to. <laughs> I'd rather just race, which is actually completely fair. But we're gonna we're gonna try to tough it out here for sure. I knew I had lost some speed in there. Did get a little bit of a bounce. I think we can recover. I mean, again, it's not really about trying to beat this guy just yet. Just trying to just trying to beat the course would be pretty solid. We're going to be close to the wall. No, no, no. I think if your vector is half decent, you just let it go. Okay, this is where it gets important. You got to exit this corner. I will admit, and you're, you're going to laugh because it's what I was just talking about, but in reverse. Not a big fan of that element. Low traction, uh... 360 degree uh, pivots around the axis. There's still there's still some work to be done psychologically for me to get over that part. But that's okay. This part is like relatively locked in. This this corner is a little spicy. Where are we at here? Nine minutes. This is one of those courses where I'm very much hoping. That just by completing it, we're at least in gold territory. <laughs> I don't know about, uh, I don't know about author medal territory yet. I would probably, uh, I would, I would slow my roll on that one, so to speak. That's okay, you know. At the end of the day, uh, y you know, beating the hard track mania course, it's a lot like, uh, you know, taking a hard class in school. When you first look at the syllabus, you're like, oh my god, this is so much work. What do you do? You take it one assignment, one test, one lab at a time. 
And eventually, before you know it, you're on the final exam. And then you just hope the final exam has uh, either a, a decent class average or alternatively they curve it so you do acceptably. The metaphor kind of fell apart there. I'm not going to deny that one. But it all, like, you know what? Actually, it's like a course because this is the only part that matters. This is like a university class that has like 30% uh, midterm, 70% final. The only thing that matters is our ability to do well on the final. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> we got tripped up on the essay questions. So being 100% honest, and this I speak frankly, it's why people call me the bad boy of YouTube, because I'm constantly getting involved in controversies and stuff like that. Um, speaking quite frankly, that section doesn't seem like one that's going to be very fun to try to min-max. <laughs> so perhaps we will we'll see where we stand, having completed the course uh, one time, and we'll judge it from there. It's all right. We're learning, bit by bit. Again, I have a philosophy in, in Track Mania. A lot of people will restart at checkpoints, and then... Uh, and, I, and I don't think it's a bad way to do it, because you get to practice those later elements. I, I, and a, a lot of people actually in the comments are like, you know, good at Track Mania. And they're like, you should really practice the later elements more. I understand. I agree. In, in principle. In practice, it's not what I'm doing. Um, but that's just because... I, I think that my approach... Let me put it this way. I think to get to the same quality of lap time takes the same amount of time. Regardless of what... Oh, I should have air brake later. Um, regardless of which way you choose to do it. This way... And I may, I may be wrong on that. I'm basically talking about something I don't understand. Um, or haven't at least tested the alternative. But... Uh, what I will say is that I need to focus for a brief moment, if you don't mind. Bro. That section is insanely annoying. <laughs> I kind of like it for its, uh, its difficulty, but at the same time, I'm like, please, God. Like, who hurt you? Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's the same, it's, it's whether you kind of like, I don't know. Let me put it this way, I don't think this is the way it should work in industry, but when I would work on like a programming assignment in school, I was much less of like a refactoring guy and much more of like a rewriting guy. Obviously, that's not practical for large-scale stuff. But given the choice, I always preferred to start over from zero on like a small scale assignment that wasn't going right than, than merely like take the time to troubleshoot specifically what was going wrong and then maybe... I mean, sometimes it's... You, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I don't know. The metaphor is going off the rails here, much like I'm going off the rails in that uh, underwater subterranean frictionless tunnel. We're gonna figure it out though, okay? It's it's a bit of a I, I don't even want to call it a meme track because I actually I think it's pretty rich on racing fundamentals. It's only the tunnel where things get truly nasty. That one's going nowhere. <laughs> it's all right. I like I like uh, seeing the I like seeing the Lionsgate Bridge every time we go by here. The Lionsgate Bridge, a famous bridge uh, that connects uh, northern downtown Vancouver, the Stanley Park region, to uh, to North Vancouver, which is very weird. I know, if, if you're not from Vancouver, you're like, what do you mean it connects northern downtown to northern? Well, it's not northern Vancouver, it's north Vancouver. It's a different suburb, or different different city, actually. So let me, let me hit you with some Vancouver lore, okay? Vancouver. A city. North Vancouver. A city north of Vancouver. West Vancouver. 
a city in North Vancouver. Or maybe a city west of North Vancouver. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused myself here. East Vancouver, a neighborhood within the city of Vancouver. So let me go over that one more time, because you might not have had a pen and a pad out. Vancouver is the city proper. North Vancouver is not part of Vancouver. It is part of the, it is its own separate municipality. West Vancouver is not west of Vancouver. It's west of North Vancouver. East Vancouver bucks the trend and is not its own metropolis. Okay, all you gotta do is get into the tunnel at the end. That's a silver, which is disgusting. And just for having completed the course, we're top 41 on the continent. <laughs> now, it is pretty early in the day. The track's only been out for like an hour. But that's pretty absurd. Alright, but now we can start to... We can start to have some fun. So definitely, like, there's room to grow right here. There's no doubt about that. But, like, there's also... A lot of room to grow on the tunnel. The tunnel in particular is bad. We slowed down a lot. I mean, I, I don't know how much better it's going to get. The, I, I will admit, by the way, I was wrong. This is not one where uh, we're going to complete it and have the author medal right off the bat, clearly. This is one where, you know, apparently even getting a gold is going to be a... A difficult task. I maybe I would have made it, but <laughs> I felt like I was saving myself from impact there. I remember, like when I first moved to Vancouver, we ordered a pizza, and it was like literally like I don't know the day or the day after I moved to the city. And when I ordered the pizza, I had to put in the address, and I was like, "Hey, are we in Vancouver or West Vancouver or like you know what's North Vancouver? What's going on?" Kate looked at me like I was, like I had two heads. She's like, we live in Vancouver. I didn't realize until a little bit later that those were not neighborhoods. Those were actual city names. And everybody that's lived here for their entire lives just, just knows it. And as a result, does not feel like it's weird, even though it's very weird. <laughs> to me, at least. Very weird to me. Come on, you can hold on to that one. I you flipped it. You flipped it. Uh, I, I really don't think we need other ghosts just yet, like, I mean, you, you may disagree and that's fine, but there's a very hoity-toity attitude. I'm not saying that I, there's nothing to learn from other people on this track, however, I think a lot of what we have to learn will come from doing. And once we get maybe, uh, once we're grinding out some of the later... Uh, hopefully later medals. We can maybe start to try to learn something a little bit more productive, you know what I mean? Don't touch the wall, dude. Good, good, good. Good enough, at least. So I think your dream here is actually not to touch the brakes on this first turn. Enter the tunnel relatively straight. And then just know what's coming. If we're so close. I really feel like if you unraveled, like if you if you sliced this tunnel down its um, its vertical line of symmetry, which it's it's a circle, so that could be anywhere, I guess, but like top to bottom from our perspective when we enter the tunnel, we would be able to map out the corners in our head and figure out where we needed to be pointed. So I actually think we're closer to greatness than I had originally anticipated. Which is a very nice, very nice thought to have. And for the time being, we are 0% sweating our performance hither to this point. That's about right. We are just going to focus on the tunnel and improving our time in the tunnel of despair. So again, maintain as much speed possible you want to be a little wider on that as well you want to be a little wider on that much like one of the main antagonists of big trouble in little china also got a little wider 
Remember that at the end of the movie? He went, ah! You, if you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. One of John Carpenter's best movies. Probably not his best movie, although it has a, a serious amount of charm. But I mean, come on. Like, The Thing is kind of a, a paranoid sci-fi horror classic. Big Trouble in Little China is a lot of fun. I think it's a great movie. I, if, if, you, if push came to shove, I would probably prefer Big Trouble in Little China to They Live, but it's close. I mean, if you ask me on another day, I might have the opposite answer for you, but the thing reigns supreme. What about Halloween? Also a, a great movie I hear, but I gotta be honest, I think I've only seen the 2018 Halloween. I think it was 2018. Oh my god! We were in there. We just needed to go to the right. Well, we needed to go to the left first so we didn't clip our so we didn't clip our car, but then we needed to go to the right. So this is one where I'm like, I'm not even faking it. Obviously, we're not going to have a 20-minute video here. Obviously, we're not going to have a 15-minute video here. A half hour would be nice if we could get a good time in a half hour. Keep in mind, we're 20 minutes in, we've only completed the course one time. Um Maybe 40 minutes is a little bit more reasonable, but I, I know I don't need to apologize for that because oh I've been looking at the analytics for the series and people are loving it and who who would have thought? I've always enjoyed um, watching track mania But I thought that maybe Josh and I were mostly just weirdos, but uh, Clearly there's a lot of us weirdos out there so I've had a perfect line on this corner a couple times, and honestly, the dopamine from getting a perfect line here, and that's close to perfect at least, but the dopamine from getting a perfect line there carries me through a lot of the anger hormone, which admitted, well, I guess dopamine's not a hormone, it's a neurotransmitter, bio major. <laughs> okay, that's, we're going off the edge there. Um, but I, I don't know what the anger, what the anger neurotransmitter is. Acetylcholine? I don't know. Beats me. They don't make, like, uh, anti-anger drugs, right? I know... It, there's a tendency on the internet to kind of, like, be devil's advocate. Oh, what about depressants? Um... I don't know if I would describe drugs like alcohol as an anti-anger drug. But, you know, you do you, I suppose. There's, no, there's really no drug out there on the market that... I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't use, like, you know, CBT therapy. I'm just saying, like, I'm surprised that no pharmaceutical company has been like, hey, we got a drug that blocks the, the anger response. So you can stop, you know, yelling at your kids for getting an A instead of an A+. <clears throat> you think there'd be a market for that? A lot of angry people out there. Including myself sometimes. When we set up for this tunnel. Okay, so we're going right, but not too far right, and then left, and then we're just going to straighten out, and that's fine, and then we're going heavy right. Bro, I hate this freaking tunnel! I hate it! We hates it, don't we, precious? <laughs> oh... These, I imagine if you're on the Trackmania subreddit, well, this is not true. I imagine the Trackmania subreddit is pretty positive. You never know, like, some communities surprise you with their toxicity. But this is one where I really imagine just a lot of, like, you know, young adult and middle-aged motorsports enthusiasts being like, good race. But if this community was like the Hearthstone community. Oh my god, the amount of posts, the, the essays this would get on the Trackmania subreddit. Whose idea was it to have a turbo tunnel underwater? I'm not mad, I just want to ask them a couple of questions. So I'm not sweating this at all. First off, we took that corner like a champ and made up a ton of time. Secondarily, um, again, nothing on this course matters as long as you don't crash until you get to the tunnel. Right now. Obviously, if you start setting, like, amazing lap times, that'll change, but... For now, all we need to do is not crash. 
That's okay. Lose a lot of speed on that, don't get me wrong, but speed is secondary once we get in here. Ah, I just like, what do you do? Like, what do you, I don't know. What, because the, the thing's rotating 360 degrees. Well, it's not rotating. We're rotating on the outside of it, is what I mean. But still, I'm just upset because, like, it's hard to troubleshoot. But that's all right. The beautiful thing about track of the day, you don't like it, wait 24 hours. It's like that old adage, you don't like the weather here, wait 10 minutes. People are like, uh, my town invented that. Uh, no it didn't, sweetheart. Every town invented that. Don't flatter yourself, Philadelphia. Okay, good stuff. Good pitch. Look at that, I mean, we were wheels, wheels down. And then here... God only knows. What do, what do you do? <laughs> I feel like I'm driving straight and then all of a sudden I get hit by like a, a plunger from Wipeout that just flips me over. And meanwhile, uh, the guy who used to host Talk Soup on the E! Entertainment channel is like uh, making fun of me. What have you ever done with your life, fake Joel McHale? He's not fake, he was first actually. I used to watch, I mean not regularly, because I was like 10, but I used to watch, you know, the soup, talk soup back in the day, before Joel McHale hosted it. You gotta remember, I, I lived, uh, oh that was, that was solid. I, I grew up in the generation that thought they invented sarcasm. Whereas right now, culture is very much... I mean, sarcasm is still prevalent because, you know, my generation's still still out there for sure. Um, and Gen X, I'm sorry Gen X, I don't mean to insult you by not including you, but you... Gen X influenced my millennial culture, you know? So we're, we're in this together culturally, in my opinion. Now, the, the Zoomer culture is much more about uh, wholesomeness and sincerity. That's not how, how we grew up as young adults for the most part. Which is ironic, because we're the generation that kind of made Garden State happen. Just, just don't, okay? Like, what if you're thinking about making a track like this? <laughs> what if you just didn't? This is where I can't wait to tune into Dan and Mouse videos. Something tells me that, and, and this is not sandbagging. Something tells me that either Daniel or Mouth is going to be like a superstar on this track. And I am going to be, not upset, I'll be proud, honestly, but, uh... Something, something tells me that... Maybe I'm overthinking parts of this one. And instead, you just gotta drive with your... You gotta drive with your stones, if you know what I mean. I'm not a stones driver, I'm a... I drive with my liver. You know, it's... Isn't the liver historically the... The producer of anxiety. It's been a while since I took a course on Hellenistic medicine. Oh, okay, Kate, Kate. I just need to say, I'm in the. You, I'm, I'm, I'm. Ah, okay, what, what's up? Kate has. Uh, she has sacrificed our kale plant. Um, we. we we're unfortunate victims of a classic newbie garden parasite, the cabbage aphid, which has uh, had, I suppose I should say, nested inside of our kale leaves and stems. So this video goes out to our now sacrificed kale plants. She said thank you. It, she said thank you, it means a lot to me. That's, it's like a zombie movie. You just did a good thing. She, she had to kill the kale even though it would bring her great pain to do so in order to save our, uh, our lettuce plant. Mmm. So, you can't hear what she's saying, but she, she's elucidating the similar situation. She, she took, she made a hard decision. Meanwhile, our kale was like, you know, when the person gets bitten in the zombie movie that refuses to acknowledge it. 
They were like wilting and, and discolored. And they're like, I'm not infested. I'm cool. I just need a drink of water and a little bit of sunlight. Wrong. They're, you've been taken over by aphids. So, you know, the toughest decisions require the strongest wills. Remember who said that? Thanos. Oh my god, this course was actually built by somebody who just hates people. This is like a super meat boy course. Like, I just... <laughs> I'm not even mad at the course creator. I'm just like... Out of all the tracks to expose a larger audience to... Like, don't get me wrong, it's a very impressive course. But the turbo tunnel at the end is just like... It's a little vindictive, it feels like. It, like, it's one of those things where, and, you know, I, I've... I'm critiquing this almost like a Mario Maker level, which, again, rubs people the wrong way, because, you know, you got a real talent for design, not to mention, like, it took a ton of work, I'm sure, to even bring this course into existence, right? So I don't, I don't mean to insult you. I'm just airing my frustrations, but, you know, I feel like, to some extent, the course was designed to be frustrating. So that, that's the part that sometimes annoys me. Is when, like, a, it, it happened a lot in Mario Maker. They design a Mario Maker course to be punishing, which is going to frustrate people. And then, um, when people get frustrated, the community's like, that's not fair. They worked really hard on this course. And frustration, you know, it's not like it's mean-spirited. It's its own unique brand of fun. That was a real Max Verstappen corner there. Look at that. We were, like, a, a infinitesimeter away from the wall. Still held it together. Um, but yeah, you know, you, we, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. I respect this course, I really do. I just kind of wish the tunnel was like the second element instead of the last element. That would, Or alternatively, I guess I could use the built-in systems in the game to actually go from a checkpoint instead of... Uh, instead of just complaining about it and doing nothing about it, but... So here's what I'm thinking. Go ahead. Now here... I actually think you're going to want to slow down. And by slowing down... We made it in a second and a half faster. We got the gold medal. We didn't really move up much because I'm sure other people are playing right now. Let's change our opponents and we'll give it like a little bit more time. Um, but this is a, it's a pretty hard course. <laughs> this is... This is one where I, I don't know what the author medal is. Hold on, I want to look at our times. So there is... Every single one of these times is faster than me. Um, some of them are faster than me by a couple of seconds. In the... Ri oh, okay, you know what? We learned something very valuable. That is a driftable corner, which is something that I had a suspicion of. I don't know if that did it, but... Let, let's see how our splits compare when we get here. Oh, and that wasn't even particularly good. I'll be honest, that second corner, it seems like they drifted as well. Now, that was not particularly strong. <laughs> That's okay, though. Again, these guys are... Oh, my. They're two seconds ahead of me, so... Or some of them are three seconds ahead of me. So so being behind by a half second early, we, we still got a lot to learn from them. Let's put it that way. Ah! <laughs> this course is dang demon, dude. This is this one's a nightmare. I'd still like the author medal. I still like today, I'll level with you. We might be getting the gold, which is maybe bare minimum. Um, but and I, I'm happy with the gold, don't get me wrong, because this one was... I mean, I, I think... To be quite honest with you, this is going to take us a while to learn the first corner, but... Um, I think if we had this in the Golden Goblet, we probably, realistically, could have had two to three DNFs. Which is... Not great for competition. <laughs> Anybody completing the course probably would have gotten themselves an automagic gold. Um... I can't believe I got it right on the first try. You know what? We'll stick with that. That's okay. We also could just keep rolling. 
the way that we've done it before and not worry about the intricacies of the drift on corner two and maybe just try to get into the tunnel. So I think we did a lot better on the tunnel, actually. Like, I mean, that's competitive. Our route does seem to lose a little speed. But what it loses in speed, it gains in comfort. Okay, so we're still in there. Yeah, don't, don't focus on the parts of this that are not relevant, you know? Like, we're, we're actually ahead of all of these ghosts except one. For now. That'll change here, probably. <laughs> uh, until the turbo tunnel. It's all going wrong in the turbo tunnel. Godwalker24. He takes the outside line. Cuts to the inside, but... As long as we're entering at the same time here, I think it's completely okay. I think we're still ahead of our previous ghost, at least. We cut off three seconds, are you kidding me? Which didn't move us at all, for the record. Um, but still, that's, that's kind of amazing. I mean, I, I really don't see us improving too much more within a reasonable time frame in this video. But what did I tell you? You know, the video started. We were pretty much incapable of, uh, of completing the course. 36 minutes later. Oh, we clipped it. 36 minutes later. Gold medal. Hopefully closing in on the so-called author medal. Okay, so we at the very least, this has given us reps to learn how to drift, too. It's a little different than the drift in... Your average racing game! <clears throat> you kind of like, the drift almost gives you a speed... Speed boost is not the right way to think about it. I would think of it instead like you, you change position, and then when you let go of the brake, you almost get like a little impulse in the direction you want. So if anything, it actually gives you like a little bit of a, 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 a boost around the corner. I feel like most of the time, Outside of, like, Mario Kart, uh, when you do a drift in a racing game, you do a drift to make, like, the geometry of the corner better. But it doesn't actually give you a demonstrable boost on the exit. This is almost... It feels like the opposite, whether or not it actually is. Way too precious on that one. So we're... <laughs> we're not gonna go for too many more laps. I wouldn't mind setting another, uh, PB. But quite frankly, I think we did respectably today. It took us, you know, 40 minutes. It's a long time. It's a long time. But, uh, you know, I, I also really like starting my day with these Trackmania videos. Like, am I insane or is the sun starting to rise in the game? Or is it actually, that probably is setting, but still. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Better. Definitely do not want to do that, but you know what? Again, the tunnel is uh, is where we make up our time. That is going to be bad. But still better than some of the people that pass us later. That one's not going to be, though. Like, I feel like I got a good start to my, to my day here. Bro. The drift, like, I mean, I apologize for crashing into corner one a lot. The drift basically completely changes your entry and exit. That was really good. That was also pretty good. We lost a little speed, but again, it's not really my intention to be first by the time we leave here. It's my intention to learn from the greats. Bro. Like Godwalker24. Whoops. The more we learn from Godwalker24, the better we become in the future. Turn into a British Columbian Trackmania robot. I must race you. 
I don't know why. That's that's Ivan Drago. I don't know why Ivan Drago sounds like a robot. In many ways, he had a robotic-like performance in the movie Rocky IV. But that was more of a result of the Soviet uh, Boxing Federation and Brigitte Nielsen pushing him to, to greatness, but also robotomy. Okay. Just just one more crack at the at the tunnel. That's all I ask for. One more crack at the tunnel. I don't like it. I like that. You know what we could really uh, use after this? Is just a pure racing course. Now, don't get me wrong. I knew we were going to lose some time there. I was... Because the lap's decent, I wanted to be a little bit more conservative. But uh, the Sick Mundus track was pretty, like, that was, a, that was a driver's track. But I, I think I, I'm, I'm in the mood for even more pure racing, you know what I mean? I, I kind of got that corner now. I was holding the drift way too long. Yeah, you. Oh, I hate you! I hate you! Okay. This is the. No matter what, this is the last attempt. Unless we hit corner one. Shake it out. Shake it out. Put this in your Mercedes and smoke it, Lewis Hamilton. You think Monaco is hard? Good luck on Diversion by H. Tim H. Approaching speeds of 400. 400 speed units. I hate it. I just hate it. But I, you know, and we probably won't set a new lap record this time. Okay, that's, and I acknowledge that. And I'm not just doing that to gas myself up so I get some, you know, you know, adrenaline and am able to actually beat it. But um, I still think that all things considered today, we did a pretty good job. We took a hard course. We broke it down to its basest elements. Certainly did not master the turbo tunnel. But who can say that they've mastered the turbo tunnel? Now this is one where I certainly wish my car was pointed in a different direction going over the ramp, but that's okay. okay. So the only way we're gonna beat our best here is to give it pretty much our all. You never know. Okay, we I mean we gotta give it one more. Come on. But hey, uh, I mean they've probably already programmed like 400 tracks into track of the day. I hope. That there's a... I hope we got Laguna Seca <laughs> coming up. I hope, I hope we got the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Or something along those lines, okay? Because I... It, don't get me wrong, I'm having a great time. And I think we did pretty well. Today. However. Good one. Good one. Great, great performance. Um, however. Man, oh man. Whatever happened to predictability? Newsman, the paper boy, the news on. T I don't know how many times they say news in that song. One Mississippi, two. Okay, we're like two seconds behind, I think. That's going to be tough to recover from. Yeah, 1.2, that's what I said. My car got shot at by the Winter Soldier. That's my excuse. Oh, we clipped it! Come on! Are you kidding me, man? I just walked over here. All right, solid enough exit. Decent enough speed. Okay, that's not good, but we we're still in there. Still in there.
I think that looked bad, but was fine. Bad air brake, for sure. But we get... Like, Tizadar beats us. Not by much, but beats us. So just being back here is not an indicator that we can't make it. This is where I lose it. Go hard right. It just makes me mad, okay? It just I just think it's funny. Okay, but I think I've learned... And this was the last step of my algorithmic learning. I think I've learned... Basically, how far we think we're supposed to go right at that bend in the road doesn't even compare to how far we're actually supposed to go. So now Trackmania is cutting into the rest of my productivity and I'm, I'm upset and I'm annoyed. You know what? That's okay. Because we're going to use that as tackling fuel. Decent exit. We're going to be a little lighter on speed than, than Godwalker and his cronies. Man. Going to be spending a lot of time wondering what if. What if my car didn't do a handstand when I came off of that ramp? What if I air braked at the right time instead of forcing my car to do yet another handstand? But still, we can learn. We're in the same position. You take the corner quickly. Actually, we're a little faster. Not than our old self, but... Do the flip! <laughs> ah! No, we're, we're, the, the, the reason we're still playing... I almost ended the video when we were close. Or when we were not close. Now we're very close. I really think we're one piece of intel away. I gotta learn the drift there. Apparently, we're gonna be here for an hour and a half. Now that's a corner. Decent. Oh, my Lanta, dude! The problem is I don't wanna learn the drift for that corner. Because learning the drift for the corner one took like 10 minutes, and it's, uh... All you gotta do is press the button for a microsecond. Like so. Um... So I don't want to learn it for this one. Now that was kind of it. <laughs> but still, I, I... That was pretty lucky. That's all I'm gonna say. We just kind of winged it. We let emotion take over. Okay, so we're, we're in there. This is a competitive start. Don't air brake too early here. That's fine. And then, in the turbo tunnel. When you pass the checkpoint, you're gonna go heavy right. Now that cost us a staggering amount of time. No! <laughs> I actually think the better way to do this is at the first at the first right turn after the turbo tunnel, you're going to go so far right your head will explode. But this like we we really can't do much more. This is like monster train levels of insanity. I, I genuinely, um, I, I have a love-hate relationship with this course. I hate that I love it. But I think we learned valuable lessons here. I'm being not facetious at all, sincerely. I think we learned valuable lessons. Like, for example, if a corner seems a little um, tight, like this one, even just a, just a modest drift, like a... A third of a second drift can get you in there. This is... Genuinely, if I don't call it, I'm never going to call it. So this is for sure my last lap. Even if I crash into the first corner. Thankfully, I didn't. So we can start to relax slightly. 
Yahoo. We're still we're still in here. It would take a pretty amazing run. But uh welcome to Trackmania. This would be nice. That's not as bad as it looked. Keep those wheels straight. Okay, we made up a little time. Now you can make up a little bit more time with a better air brake. I mean, we've been here before. <laughs> so I think you go wheels straight and then at your first deviation post checkpoint, that's where you slam the right button. So you stay relatively steady. All right, fair enough. This is a hard course. I'm happy to see it go. For now, thanks for watching. I'm going to record some other stuff. I'll see you next time. See ya.